today we go over the last of the Pure Sun Farm strains and it's gonna be Donnie Burger. Hello YouTube world, my name is Katie. If you're new around here, then welcome. But if you're not new, welcome back, love. So, as I said, this is the third video. We have already done Jet Fuel Gelato. We have already done Pink Kush. And now we have the Donny Burger. For those who haven't seen the previous reviews, feel free to go ahead and watch them after this. There'll be links in the description and they'll come up on the little playlist thing on the side as well. So you can just go ahead and click it afterwards. But today is all about the burger. I don't want to give anything away from the past two reviews that I've done just in case there is somebody who has just clicked on this video and they haven't seen the other two. I don't want to give you a, a biased view on it because of what I've said for the previous two, right? So I am just going to focus on this one today. And this one is a 23% called Donny Burger. Again, £6 per gram, £60 for 10G and 180 for your O. Again, can't show you the front of it because they have a big old leaf, but if you would like to see what the packaging looks like of the front of this, then go ahead and look at medbud.wiki, type in Dolly Burger, and you will be able to have a look and see what it looks like. Again, obviously grown in Canada from British Columbia, exactly the same thing as the other two. Right, I am just going to get into it because I'll be real with you. This has been sat here for a couple of days and I'm starting to run out of the pink kush. So, <laughs> kind of need to open this. Right, I've taken off the top of it. There's nothing coming through like before. So let's have a little look, shall we? Let's open it. God, this always does me. How? Why am I so stupid? Why can't I open these bloody things? Do I do this wrong? Oh, I fucking hate these. There is one thing I'd like to say before, because I can't even get this open. Um, people with like fibromyalgia, MS, or anything that gives you weak dexterity with your hands, like I have carpal tunnel, um, and this is really hurting to get open the bag. So I can't imagine what somebody with a, a worse off health condition, how do you get into this bag? Like, I'm sure they'd obviously just have to like scissor it because this is like really bad for people that don't have good dexterity. Like I'm just saying. In order to open this bag, it's pretty, pretty hardcore. Um, all right, it's open. All right. Kind of just gives me the same, the same smell as the uh, as the pink cushion. I'm not gonna lie, very earthy. Not overpowering, but it's still there. Again, these are an indica as well, right? Are they an indica? Oh, it is just straight indica, no hybrid, right? This is a straight indica at 23%. All right, I'm now looking at it, and this looks better. This looks a lot better than like what I've got. So let me get the white paper. Right, the white paper is down. Okay. I'm just gonna get everything out I can at the bottom of this bag because I'm sure those of you who have had your sun farms know the issue with the amount of sort of <laughs> stuff that gets stuck at the bottom of the bag. But it is out, it is out, and I am looking at it right now on the white paper and it's not bad, there's hardly any shake at all. My problem with these is they're too dry. I'm gonna say it again, with every single one of these, they're too fucking dry. I don't like it, that's just me. I like a little bit of sponginess to it, but this is just fucking absolutely like radiated. Like, do you know what I mean? Because it's like, because it's irradiated, this is the problem that you get, isn't it? Like, it just fucking feels fried, but whatever. 
the smell is the same as the pink kush it looks okay the quality is okay with the buds like do you know what i'm saying the quality is fine but i don't like the fact that it's so dry honestly it just looks the same like as the pink kush i can't remember what the jet fuel below looks like but it honestly just looks the same i'm hoping that there's a difference in taste uh because those of you that have seen my pink kush video will know my issue that i had with that so i'm hoping that um we don't have that looks very similar and you will know once you've seen my review uh, members have already seen this the day before, so thank you to the new members, welcome, hello. And you will be able to see what I'm saying with this, so check the short if you haven't already after this video. Alright, I've just filmed the short, so now it's time to actually give this a try. Later. Okay, I'm back. So, I like it more than the pink kush. <laughs> I like it more. I, d I know that's going to be an unpopular opinion. Like, I don't know. But honestly, I think I know why as well, right? Check this out. Y'all know that there's something in here that there isn't in the kush. And you will know that that's my jam. And I think that's why, like, it's definitely got that earthy, like, that's that's for sure, for sure, for sure. It's got that earthiness to it. But also, I can tell the difference immediately. I was like, oh, I like that better. I like that so much better. Like, and then went straight over to Medbar to go and check. And was like, well, that's fucking why then, isn't it? So for me, I probably would get this again. Um, not on a regular, I don't think. Just purely because my taste is more in non-irradiated personally and i know some patients can't get non-irradiated so this would be a good match i think i did say that it was a pure indica but then looking on medbud it says that it's an indica hybrid either way for me that works either, either way for me it's it, it's it's nice i do enjoy it so it did smoke better than it looked out of the three like what does yours go like what's your tier go because i think mine would be Donnie Burger, Jet Fuel, Pink Kush. Unpopular opinion, I know. So let me know down below, one, two, and three, like, what's yours? I want to see if anybody out there in, my, in our little community has the same as me. Probably not, but let's just check, see if anybody's got the same sort of level as me, right? Let's go, let's go. One, two, and three, what were your tier lists? Uh, thanks for watching guys. I do recommend you give this a go. I do six pound a gram like come on You've got to give them all a go. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie in every single video Like whatever my opinion is. I'm like Psh, give it a go though six pound a gram. You can't go wrong So I'd very much strongly advise for anybody out there that was looking to purchase either one of these Give them a go for, you just get 10 grams of each right? It's gonna cost you 180 for your prescription if you have more than 30 grams obviously you can go and ask for something else as well but i would recommend that you give all three a go and if you have give all three a go then let me know down below where you sit <sighs> until the next time guys please feel free to like this video i always enjoy doing these reviews and i think you enjoy doing them too so thank you so much for staying a part of this whole journey and yeah again i just i appreciate you i'm not gonna get too mushy but you know i just want to let you all know no, I appreciate you, alright? Alright? I don't know if this be fucking up my, my emotions right now. But anyway, right? I, I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you probably in Thailand.